you, you hook up and you see, see guys, everything stays crunched up like this. If you've got a lot of pressure on this line here, this is going to start jumping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. And I've actually seen a situation where it's caught the little button on top of the cap here. <laughs> Rip the cap off. <laughs> Rip the cap clean off. So the, the moment you set that hook, the idea is what well, I call it the old burly bra technique. It's lift and separate. So, so you set the hook and then it's just a matter of, see the butt of the rods against my forearm? So yep. a line can't go around there. You just stand like this, clear, and make sure you're not the line, you're not treading on the line, and bingo, once you're up on the reel, it's all clear. That's the danger moment right there. Yeah, yeah. Boy, there's some tuna here. Mix of uh, mac tuna and long tails, I'd say, but the long tails are fairly thin amongst them. It's very late in the season. Mac tunas go, though. Cool autumn day, late in the season. In Platypus Bay, and there's uh, been good bunches of tuna here all year. Starting to thin out a bit now, but you know the beauty of this time of the year. There's no boats around, no other boats scaring the fish and driving through them. The fish is coming at me now, swimming down the waves. Great new reel this from Sage. This is the 10, 10 weight version, large diameter. Big comfortable cranking handle. This fish is, uh, has done the classic tuna thing. It's gone for the big long first run. And now it's going again. And now it's sort of coming in fairly easy. Tuna tend to fight two ways. You get the ones that don't go anywhere. Those are really brutal fish. You just get stuck fishing them up and down. And then you get the tuna that go for this long scorching run and really tire themselves out. Beautiful big capstan style cranking handle on it. Really comfortable to hold on to. I put that drag up a couple of more notches. Took it from 14 and a half to 16 and a half. So that pulled the fish up. I don't want this fish to go deep. There's been a lot of sharks around here this summer. Keep it on the surface and keep it away from the shark so we can get a clean release on it. <laughs> 